In this next video I'm giving you another engineer task and that is log cribs. This is a roadblock type obstacle. It can stop tanks depending on the size of the log crib. But um, you want it to fill your roadway. So the roadway would be like the edge of the roadway or if you're in an urban environment your buildings would be like right here very close to the outside edge of your log crib. Maybe have just enough space if it's an urban environment that infantry can squeeze through between building and the uh, obstacle. I have not built one of these uh, because for mechanized forces this was very time consuming. I have talked to guys that were light fighters, people that served in the 82nd Airborne and in the 101st, who did practice putting these in during training exercises. Because it's an obstacle that could be put in with uh, the types of tools that they would have with them. Like chainsaws, post hole diggers, shovels and so forth, and lighter construction equipment. So, first thing we'll do when we're putting it in we'll lay down our first layer of logs on the ground. We then mark out where our posts are going to go. So we're going to have two on the outside edges of each log and then one at each of the uh, junction points on the inside of the log crib. It'll be similar with the rectangular style as the uh, triangular. We mark out our, our holes, roll the log out of the way, and we start digging. Now this will be easier to put into uh, dirt and gravel roadways than it will in asphalt or paved. If you're putting it in uh, paved roadways, asphalt roadways, concrete, you'll probably want to use shape charges to at least bust a hole in the asphalt and then go in with the uh, post hole diggers and shovels to get the uh, right depth but in uh, dirt gravel roads probably just go in with the post hole diggers because shape charges will make too wide of a hole and you'll end up having to put a lot of material back in it to hold the posts in place uh, your posts probably should go on the ground at least two feet probably up to three feet depending on the height of your obstacle now the logs that are being used in the obstacle need to be at least 12 inches in diameter. You want them to be at least four foot high, probably up to about six foot high. So what we'll do, we go through, we get our posts in the ground. And then we backfill some soil, some rock back in the holes to make sure they're nice and tight in the ground. We tamp the soil in to make sure it's nice and packed in there. Then we start putting in our logs. Put down our first layer of logs. We then go through with barbed wire or wire rope and we start, you know, figurating across here, going all the way across, trying to make a nice mess over the top of the logs to hold it in place so someone can't come through with a front end loader or a forklift and just lift the logs up out of the way. You do that at each of the points. You then lay down your next layer. One thing that I thought about, when you look at uh, pictures of uh, log cribs, they typically have them like this, you know, they're each just stacked one on top of the other in the exact same length and that stuff. Well, what we probably should do to make it stronger is consider it like a, a log construction for like a cabin. So you'll have a short one here on the bottom on the front, your two longer ones on the sides. Then you'll put in, your next layer will be a longer log that goes over the top, overlapping the ones underneath. The ones that are behind it are shorter. And then you just keep going back and forth, alternating shorter, longer, shorter, longer, till you get the height that you need. And then back here, you'll probably want to uh, alternate how you overlap it back here also or bring them together at least. So after you get uh, all the logs in place and wired in, 
that's when you put the fill on the inside. This should be stuff with a lot of mass. Um, large rocks, gravel, sand, uh, brick, concrete block or construction debris. You want stuff to add a lot of mass, a lot of weight to the obstacle so that the enemy just can't come in with a dozer and push it out of the way. Now with your uh, rectangle it'll be similar. You'll have your log front and back posts. You'll have your cross members here, posts at the junction points here and the junction points here. You'll go through, lay down, you know, do a similar construction as this, each layer, and then you come through and you put your fill on the inside. This should be a platoon level mission. You'll have one squad that's assigned for cutting the logs. If, you're, if you do not come in with them already pre-cut, ready to go. You'll have one squad that's coming in, digging the holes for the posts, getting the posts in, and then they're starting to put the logs in. You're, uh, you have a third squad that's out getting the fill for putting inside. They could be bringing it in by dump truck or bringing it in by front end loader. You know, whatever they have available. If they're bringing it in by dump truck, Something that you could do is maybe get yourself about uh, three foot of the obstacle constructed. You don't have the final layers on there. You then start shoveling the stuff out the back of the dump truck or dumping it and then coming in having people with shovels and that stuff, uh, pry bars, whatever, start pushing the stuff that fell off to the side to the inside of the log crib. Once you get it cleaned up a little bit better, you put in the next few layers to get it to the top and then put in the rest. The only way I'm aware of for breaching this type of obstacle is by explosive means. By bringing in some type of uh, piece of armor, say like an old uh, CEV combat engineer vehicle firing in a HEP round, high explosive plastic round, a demolition round, then that would uh, detonate on the obstacle and blow it apart. Barring that, you're going to have to somehow come in, bore holes down into the fill or from the sides, and you're going to want to shove shape char or cratering charges into there or satchel charges into there, setting them off trying to blow this whole thing apart. This obstacle is uh, very time consuming for putting in. I do not have an idea how long it's going to take. It will be also extremely time consuming for removal. If you uh, construct it right, you get enough mass in it. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, essay